Welcome back, health enthusiasts. Ever wondered why understanding your blood pressure is so important? Well, today we're going to uncover the mystery of this vital health indicator. Blood pressure, in simple terms, is the force that our blood exerts on the walls of our arteries. This force is necessary to make the blood flow, delivering oxygen and nutrients to every part of our body. It's measured in millimeters of mercury, abbreviated as MMHG. Now, when you hear a blood pressure reading, you'll hear two numbers. For example, it might sound something like 120 over 80. These two numbers represent the systolic and diastolic blood pressure. The first number, the higher of the two, is the systolic pressure. This represents the force exerted on the artery walls when the heart beats or contracts, pushing the blood out into the body. It's the working phase of the heart. The second number is the diastolic pressure. This is the lower number and it represents the pressure in the arteries when the heart is resting between beats. It's during this resting phase that the heart fills up with blood for the next contraction. Understanding these numbers is crucial as they tell us about the health of our heart and blood vessels. A normal blood pressure reading for a healthy adult, according to the American Heart Association, is typically around 120 over 80 mmHg. However, it's worth noting that normal can vary based on factors like age, gender, and overall health. And while slightly higher readings might be considered normal as you get older, consistently high readings could indicate a condition like hypertension or high blood pressure. So knowing your blood pressure values is the first step towards maintaining a healthy lifestyle. It's an essential tool in the fight against heart disease, stroke, and other cardiovascular conditions. And remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. Now that we understand what blood pressure is, let's explore what's considered the norm for adults. The American Heart Association has given us some guidelines. They suggest that a typical blood pressure reading for a healthy adult falls around the vicinity of 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury. This figure represents the systolic and diastolic pressures, which denote the pressure when the heart contracts and rests, respectively. It's important to note, though, that this is a general average and individual readings may vary. Factors such as age and gender can significantly influence these figures. For instance, adults over 60 years old may have slightly higher readings, and this is still considered within the normal range. So, while 120 over 80 might be a good reference point, it's not a one-size-fits-all number. Remember, these are just averages. It's crucial to understand how age and gender affect these norms. Age and gender play significant roles in determining blood pressure norms. Let's delve into it. As we grow older, our bodies undergo various changes. These changes can affect our blood pressure as well. Generally, blood pressure tends to increase with age due to the loss of elasticity in our arteries. This is why adults over 60 may have a slightly higher blood pressure reading, often around 130-80 mmHg, which is considered normal for this age group. Now let's talk about gender. It's interesting how this plays a role in our blood pressure norms. You see, before the age of 64, men typically have higher blood pressure compared to women. But the tables turn after 64, and women often have higher blood pressure than men. This shift is attributed to hormonal changes that occur in women after menopause. However, it's not just about the numbers. It's about understanding these variances and managing them effectively. Regular monitoring and healthy lifestyle choices can help keep our blood pressure in check, regardless of our age or gender. And let's not forget about the young ones. Even though high blood pressure is more common in adults, children and adolescents can be affected too. It's important to foster healthy habits from a young age, as childhood obesity can lead to high blood pressure and other health issues later in life. Pediatricians typically use percentiles to evaluate blood pressure in young individuals, considering factors like age, height, and sex. So it's clear that age and gender can significantly influence blood pressure. But what about children and adolescents? Let's explore that next. It's not just adults. Even children and adolescents have their unique blood pressure norms. The way we evaluate blood pressure in these younger age groups is a bit different from adults. Instead of using fixed numbers, pediatric blood pressure readings are often evaluated based on percentiles. This approach takes into account factors like age, height, and sex to determine whether a child's blood pressure is within a healthy range. A child's lifestyle can significantly influence these readings. Encouraging habits like regular physical activity, a balanced diet, and good sleep hygiene from a young age can help maintain normal blood pressure levels. 
It's also important to note that children with certain medical conditions may be at a higher risk for abnormal blood pressure, making regular checkups even more essential. Keeping a check on blood pressure from an early age can prevent future health complications. It's a small step today for a healthier tomorrow. Many factors can influence blood pressure, and it's not just about age and gender. Let's start with genetics. Like eye color or height, your genetic makeup can predispose you to higher or lower blood pressure levels. It's a factor we can't change, but being aware of a family history of hypertension helps us stay vigilant. Next, our daily diet plays a significant role. Consuming too much sodium, for instance, can cause your body to retain water, leading to increased blood pressure. On the flip side, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can help keep your blood pressure in check. Physical activity or lack thereof is another key player. Regular exercise helps make your heart stronger, and a stronger heart can pump blood more efficiently, lowering your blood pressure. Lastly, let's not forget stress. Chronic stress can lead to behaviors that increase blood pressure like unhealthy eating habits or excessive alcohol consumption. Understanding these factors can help you maintain optimal blood pressure levels throughout life. Your lifestyle choices can significantly impact your blood pressure. Eating a balanced diet is a key step towards maintaining healthy blood pressure levels. Foods high in sodium can increase blood pressure, while potassium-rich foods can help balance the effects of sodium, including plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains in your diet can contribute to a healthier heart. Regular exercise is another lifestyle choice that directly affects blood pressure. Physical activities like walking, cycling, or swimming help keep the heart and blood vessels in good shape, making them more efficient in pumping blood. This, in turn, can lower your blood pressure. Stress is another factor that can cause blood pressure to spike. While some stress is a normal part of life, chronic stress can lead to long-term increases in blood pressure. Techniques like deep breathing, meditation, and yoga can help manage stress levels. Making positive changes in these areas can contribute to better overall cardiovascular health. Abnormal blood pressure levels can pose serious health risks. Hypertension or high blood pressure can lead to a multitude of complications such as heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. These conditions are often life-threatening and require immediate medical attention. On the other hand, hypotension or low blood pressure may cause symptoms like dizziness, fainting, and in severe cases can lead to shock. While low blood pressure might seem less concerning, it's equally important to manage. Let's not forget, these complications can often be silent killers. They may not present any symptoms until it's too late, making them particularly dangerous. That's why it's so crucial to maintain blood pressure within the normal range. But don't worry, with regular monitoring and a healthy lifestyle, these risks can be minimized. So. Remember, regular checkups are crucial to prevent these severe health conditions. Regular monitoring is key to managing your blood pressure. It's a good habit to measure your blood pressure at home, especially if you're at risk for hypertension. This involves using a home blood pressure monitor that's been tested and validated for accuracy. It's also essential to be calm and rested before taking a reading. Now, if you notice consistent high readings over several days, it's time to seek professional advice doctors can provide a comprehensive evaluation and recommend a course of action. This might involve lifestyle modifications like adopting a healthy diet, increasing physical activity, reducing stress, or limiting alcohol. In some cases, prescription medications may be necessary to manage your blood pressure effectively. But remember, everyone's journey with blood pressure is unique, so what works for one person may not work for another. It's all about finding the right balance that works for you. Remember, your health is in your hands. Stay informed, stay healthy. To wrap up, understanding your blood pressure is crucial for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. It's a dynamic measure that can be influenced by age, gender, lifestyle choices, and even stress levels. Regular monitoring and making informed decisions about diet and exercise can help manage blood pressure effectively. Recognizing the potential health risks associated with abnormal readings is vital for prevention and early intervention. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for